of three, still. Two out of three always uh, as our usual Xeno ways. Because, you know, people got to go home and sleep. Nah, man, I want to <laughs> I wanna see Sinji Numbu's best of five back at reset, I'm telling you. It'll happen dream. once again one day. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a bit of an unconventional matchup for, um, for We Fit. Like, once again, I feel like Robin is just able to uniquely pressure the corner uh, yeah. using Arc Fire. Um, so, like, putting yourself there against Jewel might not necessarily always be the best idea. Um, because that does seem like a situation he himself is really, really comfortable with playing in. Yeah, Jewel can do a good job of keeping numbers away from the, with their disjoints and their multiple spell tools too. Like even like throwing off the timing a bit by just wasting all their spells and just throwing the book at them. It's very fast. Numbers has to has the reaction tester at mid range. Mm -hmm. Same can be said about uh, numbers to Jewel as they they still have some salutation and the and soccer ball volleyball. Ooh, Jewel trying to catch Numbly sleeping with a deceptive down smash hitbox that hits behind for inexplicable oh, wow. reasons. Numbly is able to extend head into jab and keeps on going. Crazy plays there from Number getting all this damage in, but not the positioning. I've but never seen Weef and hold Robin Sword like that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a first for me. Oh, the down smash? Oh. Wow. That was just such good recognition from Number. He's like, hey, if you really don't show you, dead. Unless you do anything but like jump, and even if you mash aggressively, sometimes Oof. we fit down smash says, hey, I don't really care about that. I just blinked. How did Jewel get the 98? I was about to say. <laughs> I knew what happened. Numbers hit him twice. <laughs> Why does we fit get to do? You ever think about that? How? Oh my. We fit's a super saiyan. Sometimes they just power up and get 50 billion damage off of just powering up. Who tries to go through the two frame there, but uh, Joel is able to get up attack past that. Right, Finally, pressure. gonna get a bit of stage control for themselves. That is Numbers off stage though. Joel oh, wants to go damage. so deep. <gasps> Good tech from Numbers, oh. but the stock. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Joel. Can can just shimmy the way back on the stage. That Nair, very aggressive, and it was the right choice to take that stock off. That is that is brave, Joel. Joel is a far braver man than I. Being able to go <laughs> off stage against John like that. And not to only come back unscathed, but to be able to take that stock, not, not a lot of people can say that they have done that. There's a good delay on the roll there for numbers to avoid that Thoron. Yeah, and you need plays like that in order to like win tournaments, I'd say. Like, cause the, the, those, those like small little moments of aggression and edge guarding are, are just like the key that separates you from going two and two, zero oh and two to like sitting here in winners finals. So that's good yeah. on Jewel to go for that. It's, it's like I, I think it's never a bad idea if it works. <laughs> It's only okay. a bad idea if you die for it. Um, but right now, Jewel able to mix up his landing just a Again? little bit. Tries no. to jump back on, but Sun's Salutation is going to stop him halfway through. Number is going to be once again charging Sun's Salutation, just trying oh, to bait okay. Jewel to be a little bit too aggressive. This is a confirm, but it's not going to kill. Strong enough. One more hit, though, from Jewel, trying to snipe on Numbers. That Nair is one of the biggest things that Robin has, and it's very useful to have. They need to get that that, that sword back. Ah, uh, Jewel had that. You can you can react like Jewel was perfectly oh. positioned to be able to punish. We fit goal from ledge, but then was just a little bit too slow in the execution of it. So, yeah. a little bit tragic. Um, That's the second time I've seen them go for get up attack and no, and numbers not punishing it. So if numbers like gets the reactions in time, they could probably like kill Jewel for that. But Jewel getting this kill off here. This is still a chance. Jewel can make this comeback. Yeah, still just barely living that F tilt. But oh, now. Ah, oh, uh, no, wait. No. Still alive. Oh, no, my. Mr. Meaty. Numbers just keeps on getting these hits. But that's Jewel at 205%. One oh, good hit that. from Number who should be able to do it. A dash attack, F tilt, four loot throws, sun salutation. Any no, of the aerials. The throw? It's enough. It's 200%. Uh. Oh. Good stuff to Numbers there for taking that game. Interesting. S slowly just knew, uh, you're a throw kill percent. All I gotta do is wait. Jewel banked it on that. Numbers just simply tossed it. That's a, that's a pretty funny animation. <laughs> is she is she like screaming when she does that? Hold on, I guess you a zoom in on, on Weefit. She's like, die! <laughs> yeah, no, she's like she's like shrieking when she does it. <laughs> Ugh. It's a whole and mannequin. his like, limbs are contorted <laughs> a little bit too. Shut us to them with these arrows. Getting all John Madden on us. <laughs> Alright, game two. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I'm going to be opting to go for the town and city. Um, I think this is more of an interesting stage choice because Jewel is able to, you know, just sort of sit on those side plats a little bit as John tries to get back on. 
Um, and he can cover the jump from that position. He can sort of jump down on uh, on John as he's getting back onto the stage. So I, I do like the stage pick for Fujo quite a bit. I'm noticing that Jules is like stopping a lot of aggression with those little thunders, the little, little gut check thunders. And then building off a little bit of offense there too. It's, it's good stuff to do. Uh, it. Jewel had it. He was waiting for that air dodge, but was just slightly off. And now that's Robin at the ledge trying to connect those arc fires. Um, I like the commitment to go for down air there because it's really the only thing that would have nice. hit um, if somebody's going like down to arc fire like that, but doesn't find it. I can't get a little too nose for too crazy over here to get their health back, but... He's I, I using his projectiles as a shield. Yeah. <laughs> really good stuff. Confirm. Simple enough. Fire does it all. Ledge traps, confirms. Holds it down to neutral. Pays the bills. <laughs> oh, gotta get away from the ledge. Fire again. Oh, good good roll there from numbers, but they're getting punished. Try to chase it with the L win. Ah, oh, but number is gonna be using Hedder to give himself the coverage he needs. And Jewel, just like that, try to go through the Arc Thunder, I believe. Um, but Sun Salutation was just able to get there in time and, and you know, do what it needed to do, so. Pretty unfortunate for Jewel though. They're both pacing this pretty slowly. The numbers can duck under that, but at that mid range, though, it's very threatening as Jewel can like slowly move in with it. The Thoron. Mm -hmm. Thunders. Right. And the book too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> numbers has to watch out for like a lot of things that Robin can throw out. There's just like a lot of stuff happening at once with this kind of a matchup. It is a little bit goofy at the end, so. Um, Right now, Jewel trying to catch one of these high recoveries from numbers, dashing back and forth, ends up just giving the stage a little bit further back to him. Oh, good Nair from numbers coming in with this damage. Mm -hmm. oh, but answers right back with that Nosferatu. See, that's, that's a good yeah. thing to have, like a command grab that just like, takes your health back, too. These these landing mix-ups are so good for him, Jewel, because he if, you, if you're not shielding, if he goes out an active hitbox that probably covers spot dodges and jumps, uh, and, and if you do sit there and shield, you end up getting nuts for So he creates this really dangerous 50 50, but Jewel gets stuck in all that end lag of F Smash, and John ends up throwing out his own. I respect going for those reads, too. Mm -hmm. that's, 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 a, that's, a, that's a winner's read. Sometimes you need to do it just to, just to see if it will work. But yeah. at the same time, you have to be a little careful against numbers. He's very patient. Numbers. Good damage from <gasps> numbers. Already at 80! Look at oh, that tracking. Wow. And that's Town and City. That's what Town and City lets you do. When you're off stage like that in the corner, especially if you're going high, and the opponent's able to be there on that side plat, they're able to track your drift. They're able to follow you. They're able to cover low and high simultaneously. So Jules' own counter pick really went, uh, really just uh, sort of stabbed him in his foot there. On his back? Ooh. <laughs> what do you, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, think about it this way. Think about it this way, right? You, you're stuck here. The question is, what do you do? So you can you can try to continue going down, right? You, you, he avoids he avoids the sun salutation. He has no more air dodge left to him, right? What do you what do you do? You can you can try to throw out a hitbox, but no, you're negative. You're stuck in end lag. So numbers is there. He's the one reacting to you. You you there is nothing it's, that you can do. It's checkmate. It's checkmate. His numbers could have jumped too just to catch whatever like high recovery they would have went for. Yeah. And if they, yeah, if they would have like probably drifted a little more, like forward and numbers would have missed. Still good positioning on numbers because they would have caught the recovery. Off, yeah, like, that was just off, really good recognition from numbers saying, "Hey, you're off stage in the corner. You're up, but you don't have particularly fast get off me options. Maybe you thunder L thunder at best." But he was just in no position to be able to get hit by anything like that. So John recognized the opportunity. He was just able to jump in, uh, asserted himself, and was able to find that stock. So mm. kind of that was just really well played on his part. He just understood his stage. He understood how to move around the platform so, so well. Yeah. Um, Using the counter pick against him. You got to know how to play on all the stages in the game. Yep. Mm. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. We'll see numbers and grands easily in making that money, like <laughs> making me lose my bet. Because I, I bet numbers. I was like, numbers. If you lose to a Wi Fi player that you, you were shit talking this whole time throughout this whole pandemic, I will give them a dollar. But seeing as numbers is already here, I guess. I gotta give him a dollar. 